My name's Mark Brindle. I run a company called Maniac Films, based in North Devon. Um, we make films, amongst other things. Does anyone here use video already in the business? How many hands are up? Okay, about a quarter, perhaps. Okay, has everyone, anyone else thought about using it? We're about to. About to use it, okay. Okay, well there's lots of good reasons for using video these days and um, most of it's to do with communicating with your audience. So um, larger companies tend to use it for internal marketing a lot. Um, we work with companies, a couple of the larger ones in North Devon, and we can never really advertise that we do work with them because no one is allowed to see the videos because it's always used just for their internal use. Maybe um, shareholders report or a chairman's speech or um, it's saving them time from visiting multiple um, locations to give the same sort of internal communication speech. Um, but the sort of thing that you're probably more interested in is external video, using video to, to, for people to see. Um, so um, there's lots of ways that you can use video in your business. Um, if we start off with the simple ones that are more kind of a DIY approach, You've got things like video blogging, um, where you've got, you want to build your own profile that may build up your own business at the same time. Um, but your reputation, it, you've got to be an expert in what you're talking about, really, um, and generate your audience in terms of what, um, what you're trying to tell them. Um, that's quite a difficult one to get right. Um, because you can end up damaging your own reputation um, if your own video blog isn't very well done. And um, equipment-wise, you can sort of spend next to nothing um, or spend loads of money, but if you get the fundamentals of it wrong, you can still, it can still look pretty bad. So um, it's always worth thinking about how you're going to do the video in the first place. Um, but I'll talk about that in terms of um, what the sort of pricing to expect and how you can um, pay for it. Um, but other types of external video, the usual type is a promotional video, really. Something that's showing your company in a good light. Um, it may be giving an insight into the key people within your organisation. So instead of having a website where you might have an About Us page that just has a few statements about people, a little picture, you know, if you've actually got them speaking to camera, um, you can get a, a sense of their personality. Um, but the main sort of selling and ways to increase um, your market is, is if you've got products that lend themselves to being seen on video. So Shopping Channel does this 24-7. Um, if you've ever watched QVC or anything like that, after a while, if you sit there long enough, you'll kind of think, about getting hold of the phone and actually buying <laughs> one of those um, things that you, in hindsight you just wonder why you'd ever want it. But um, that it does work as a medium for sales. So it can cut down your cost of sale by actually having um, a presence online showing people the benefits of why they want to buy your product. Instead of having to send out a salesperson, you can point them towards the website. You've already got pre-prepared pitches. You've gone through them time and time again, you've got the script right, you've said exactly what you want to say <coughs> so, that, so that your salesperson can't fluff the lines at the last minute. Um, so that sort of thing works for the pre-sales, but also for the post-sales. Okay, so um, you might be able to save yourself time for people ringing up, asking you how you know, they've bought something from you, how does it fit together, if you've got a video that they can see they won't need to make that phone call. Or if there's FAQ or common sort of questions that people might ask you, if you've already pre-built um, like an installation DVD or an installation video, then um, they, can, they can see without disturbing you really. If you do use video for web, then um, there's quite a good services in, in YouTube for increasing your ranking, page ranking. Always remember to put keywords and tags whenever you upload videos. But you can, do, you can upload transcriptions as well. 
um, where you've literally transcribed all the text, all the dialogue from the video. And Google would do that automatically now, but it doesn't always get it very, very well, um, doesn't get it right. So you can upload time code, what's been said as a text file into your video and that even upload that into the description. So all of that keyword information is available for anyone to find or for the search engines to find really. Plus it can get translated automatically into multiple languages if you're selling overseas. So that's quite a good tool that doesn't cost you anything um, to add. So, uh, um, but in terms of pricing, whether you do it yourself or get someone in to do it, we make videos and people will say, well, how much is a corporate video? And it's, you know, how much is anything, you know, it's up to you what you're prepared to pay for what you want to get out of it. If you want a really, really well done video that has aerial shots and helicopters and uh, all sorts of expensive um, motion graphics and um, effects to make it look like a big Hollywood blockbuster, then you've got to pay something for those things. You know, there's lots of shortcuts, but at the end of the day, it's, it's down to your, your profile really, your corporate brand, um, what it means to you as to what you want to pay. A lot of times you can get away with um, quite, quite cheap, I suppose, time if it's just a person speaking to camera with some cutaway shots of a location or some products being made. You know, you can get that done in a day and it's quite a straightforward process really. Um, so if you've got access to locations and you've got access to, um, to good speakers within your organisation, perhaps people that have been on Celia's course, then um, you know, use them. You don't have to get in actors. You don't have to, um, to write a very complicated script. But you need to plan a lot of these things before you start doing it. You need to know what you want to say before you film it um, so you can work out how many locations, how many people you need and what shots you need to get, just like you'd be planning for any kind of short film or for a movie. So, okay. Thank you. Thank you.